Hey all, my name is Toves, and today we are going to be checking out House Flipper 2's new demo. So this is early access, this is an early little sneak peek on House Flipper 2. I'm super excited, super excited to check this out. So yeah, this is a super early, early view, so obviously we can expect a bunch of things to change before this goes into general release, but here we go. And I don't know how much this is, so we're just going to play and see how we get on, and then uh, and then yeah, we'll have a, a bit of a chat about it on the way. So you're about to play the House Flipper 2 demo. Follow the quest list to transform a rundown shack into a beautiful house. When you're done, you can keep playing and add some personal touches to it. Tip: Look out for books books placed around the house. They will tell you how to use the tools. Okay, happy flipping. Look at this. This looks cool. Oh, hello. Random dude, can we answer? Hey, hey, hello. So, how do you like the house I found for you? Beautiful, Beautiful. isn't it? Oh, we actually can talk to him. Uh, exactly as I pictured it. <laughs> Good one. Well, you wanted me to find you a house to flip, right? Can and this one needs all the flipping there is. Brilliant, give it to us. Oh, look, okay, so we've got new controls. So we've got hands, flip a tool, collecting trash, cleaning, vacuuming, demolishing, building, building! Smart home, smart home, what's that going to be? Surface finishes and painting. And doesn't this just look better already? Can I get the duck? Yeah, get the duck. Can I have the duck? Can I put the duck in my, in my belongings? Oh, check this out, guys. So... Snap to grid. Oh no way! Okay, let's not get carried away. Okay, let's not, let's do what we're supposed to do. Can I take the drill? Okay, so some of these things I don't seem to be able to like put in my inventory or anything. If I've got an inventory, but let's just read this. Quests and flipper sense. Lost on what to lost on not on what to do. No fear. Flipper sense is here. Rooms with bright yellow have quests waiting for you. Try pressing R with every tool you use. Flipper Sense will tell you which items to sell, which walls to paint, where to place windows, all kinds of other things. Okay, right, that makes sense. Let's have a look at this one. The most basic of all tool, your hands. To pick up an item, left click, press E to interact with it. Use the left mouse button to change your tool. Right mouse button to change your tool. That's not super clear that that's actually... <laughs> I like which one it's highlighting there. But check this out. So obviously, like, the art style is slightly more cartoony, which is what I thought was going to be the case. Uh, but check this out. It looks good. Doesn't it look cool? Like, lighting and everything looks better. Dynamic lighting, all those sorts of things. Right, so I didn't actually listen to what it said. Um. So how do I pick these up again? <laughs> Do we use the trash bag? Oh look, okay, so there's little items, little icons there that are telling me I can use the these things. And my flipper sense, if I press the R button, so that's that is that the flipper sense is engaged to tell me that I can use these to pick up the the trash. Uh and is that is that my bag now full and I have to chuck it in the Oh I can just yeet it, okay. <laughs> I suppose I'm sp I guess I'm supposed to be chucking it in the in the bin. Cool. Okay, let's get that one again then. Um, so I guess we're supposed to be tidying it, all this up. Um, and so are these going to be? These are things to sell. I'm guessing. So we can get rid of these. Can't sell those. Did I read both of those? I can't actually remember if I read both of them. Flip it all. Uh, it has four modes. Press Q. Oh! <gasps> no way! Copy style. Change style. Duplicate. What? Hold on, we're going to have to check this out in a second. So I can like... Hang on a sec, guys. So what did I just press? Q. Duplicate. Oh, that is such a cool idea. So... 
Let me just make sure everyone's clear on what that just happened. So I can, so it's like an eyedropper tool and you can duplicate, that's so cool. That's a really good idea. So like if you're placing a load of books on a shelf, for example, you can just, um, yeah, you can just like use that to duplicate them. I find this, this I find slightly tedious, I have to say already. <laughs> the picking up trash bit of it, I already find a bit like, am I going to want to have to get this bag out every time? Can I not just, can I not just not, can I not just like pick up the trash? Right, so is this going to be stuck in that? Okay, that's pretty cool. So I don't know how it did that, but it, it seemed to take itself back to, does it do that? Does it take itself back to the default? So I've copied that already. Paste style, copy style, no, copy style. Oh, I'm copying the style of it, that's why. Okay, it's a little, it's a little, I, I have to say, I'm, the immediate thing I, maybe this is just me being stupid, but I find those, I find that which mouse button to click not super clear down there. How do I? It, I'm not sure whether the white one is highlighted or the or the dark one is highlighted. It obviously, it's the dark one that's highlighted. So how do I? So I think this is just going to take a bit of time to get used to. It is actually quite intuitive. I think it's just obviously my brain is. <laughs> so that's copy style. That's duplicate. Okay. So I just want to double check. So duplicate. And then I can precise place that anywhere I want. And if I just put that down and then I switch to another tool. So cancel. Oh Christ. Okay. Cancel. So if I switch to that tool and then back to this tool, it's still on that start. It's still on that, um, that mode. Okay. Right. Got you. Um, I just kind of want to go inside and have a look inside. How do I get rid of this? Is this trash? No, just for a bag at you. So this is trash. That's not trash for some reason. Those are not trash. They're obviously things to sell. This is trash. And then once my... Oh, okay, right. So I was thinking maybe you want to have... An idea of when the bag is full so the icon over on the left hand side there that looks a bit like a a drip is showing me that the bag is full i guess can i just yeet this into oblivion yeah oh is it not maybe it isn't showing me that it's full maybe that's my map <laughs> i don't know i'm overly excited clearly let's get rid of these things go 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 i can't get rid of you you're not something i can sell okay Flipper sense. Can I can I clean you? Um, can I can I smash you up with this? Uh, 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 uh. Strong hit. Oh, that doesn't seem to swing. Okay, let's not worry about you too much. Thanks. For, yeah, thanks. Let's go inside. Uh, oh, let's just get rid of these bits first. That can go, that can go. Yeah, it's just one of those things, isn't it? Like when you've got to like familiarity with how controls work on a previous game, when it sort of feels like it's familiar, I probably don't need to read all these books. These feel like they're pretty obvious. It looks like all the tools have got like a multi-function. Yeah, so that's like squirty. And then I can press my left mouse button to clean. So I've got like a little cleaning do. That's quite cool. Quite like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so I'm not going to read all of these because I guess they're probably all pretty much going to be the same. Um, that every tool has probably got. If it pops up, it's got, a, it's got another option for you to do. Um, so let's look at our tasks. This is what we're actually supposed to be doing. So, so 
Okay, we are making progress. So we've got to sell all this gubbins. 22 out of 72. We've got to clean up some stains. Uh, I'm guessing you're a cell. A cell thing. So yeah, I, I'm not sure when this is coming out. I think the I think the demo itself is coming out very soon, maybe within the next few days. Um, Frozen District were very kind enough to let me have an early look at it. Oh, there's a bunch of stains there. Um, and I think I'm actually already, like a few people, like Diesel and, and some of those guys have already done a look at it. I'm a little bit, a little bit behind uh, the other peeps, but yeah. Ah, right, so I can sell all this. Can I sell these cones? Yes. I'm not sure what to do with this little pile of stuff here. Maybe I can't get rid of that. Can I clean this? So we don't... Oh, it's changed into something else. Oh, interesting, because it's on a different surface. Maybe it's changed into something else. I don't think this is a thing I can clean. Ten stains. Let's go inside. Well, we, we've got these on the outside, so let's clean these up. Is it going to just let me lean over and do that? So what does it do? Oh, that just makes it quicker. That's kind of cool. So yeah, let me know, guys, what you're, what's like the thing that you're most looking forward to. Like, I think to me... Um, the prospect of like building whole houses and things is the is the most exciting thing to me. We've got fifteen things left to sell, so let's go check out. In is that is this something I can sell? Yeah, let's go inside them. Yeah, so the old the old game. It, I kind of got to a point with it. I mean, obviously, if, if you've watched me for a while, you'll know that I've played loads of House of the One. Um, and I just got to a stage of it where I think I was just struggling with, mostly struggling with the inventory system. Uh, I think that's the sort of curse of the game was as we got more, as we got more items, it just became harder and harder to find the things you wanted. Um, so I haven't looked at this yet, but I'm really kind of hoping that they've done some improvements to the to the inventory system. Vacuuming. Yeah, okay, so I'm not sure how to get... Oh, okay. I'm not sure how to, to get... Uh, let's, just, let's just yeet this, shall we? So you can, like, hold down the... Hold down the button to push it to make it throw further. It, it, let me just let's work this out. Let's see if we can. So it's not showing me. Yeah, nothing's. I don't think anything is giving me an indication. Oh, that was a good shot. That this bag is full yet. So that's something that would be kind of handy to. And I, I think I would like to see that not be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that not be a thing fairly soon uh, in your like upgrade path that you don't have to fill up trash like that. I'm pretty sure the old game used to let you um, just like sell trash as well as uh, as well as clean it. Handies. some slippers I don't want to read I don't really want to massively read all these things but we will some trash is too small to pick up by hand that's where the, vac the vacuum cleaner comes in when you come across a part of broken glass tiny bits of brick or anything else you can't put into a trash bag choose the vacuuming tool okay cool uh, edit connections lamp check light switch check but how do you connect them switch to the edit connections tool Press left mouse button on the lamp and then again on the light switch. Now they're connected. One light switch can control as many lamps as you like. Oh, this is cool. All these items together are called a group. So finish editing, press the left mouse button. So all those press R to remove an item from the group. Yes, yes. I mean that sounds cool. So we can we can Yeah, do our own light like, lighting systems and things. Dead plants. 
Oh, hello, upstairs world that you're a complete state. We'll go up there in a minute. How do we... Have we interacted with that? I don't know if we've interacted with that thing. Do we just... Are we just walking into this? Not actually sure. I don't know if I'm... I don't know what, how I'm supposed to interact with these yellow dealies, but... Um, sell, sell. Can I sell the slippers? Yeah. Can I sell the furniture? I kind of want to be able to get rid of those books because they're a bit annoying now. Once you've read them, I think they should just disappear. So, so I guess that was this thing that was called Smart Home. Select group. Oh, clever. And then deselect group. Turn on. So yeah, you can. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's an interesting one. That um, deselect group. So is that now? So if you wanted to have this light turn on that light and that light at the top of the stairs, you could do it, right? Let's have a look. Let's turn that one off first because that might confuse things, I guess. So. Oh, that's not actually. Oh, maybe that one's like permanently on at the moment, or it's, or it's linked to that one. So, select group, and then I can add this light to it as well, and then I can deselect, deselect the group. Yeah, how cool is that? That's much more realistic. That's cool. So you can have, yeah, like a, like I just showed. <laughs> you can have stuff like I just showed you. How cool, how cool, how cool. It's cool to see. Because like one of these things, one of the things about when you get a second, you get like a new version of the game. You're like, is it actually going to, is it going to change anything? I don't like this bag system, I have to say. This is a pain in the bum. Because I just want to be able to pick up all the rubbish. I don't want to have it to be grindy. Because, like, you can't get a lot in a bag before... And I have no idea when it's going to make me drop this bag. Let's see. Maybe it does something visually to tell me. Like, is it is it closing the bag... Uh, when it's full? It is. But then I just want to... I just want to obliterate the bag. I don't want to have to take it... Oh, that's nice. I mean, it's like momentarily fun to be able to throw the bag, but maybe if you're a cynical swine like me, it just gets like immediately kind of t tedious and you're like, you can imagine your whole world of cleaning up somewhere. We like, oh, these bags. I don't know what, like, what would be the upgrade of that? What would be the improvement? How would you get that to be better uh, right painting the paint roller every flipper's best friend to paint a wall you must buy some paint open the store by pressing tab to get the paint on the paint roller aim the bucket aim at the bucket and hold left mouse button now pick your painting style hold left mouse button to paint everywhere anywhere you want scared of going over the tile set the painting area first Press the left mouse button on the wall and set your starting point. What? Hold hold tight. One second. Right, let's clean. That sounds all very exciting. I don't know what the like. Does it does it just make it quicker using the spray? It doesn't cost me anything, so I might as well always just use the spray. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like bits coming down. Um, do I get rid of this table? So presumably at some point, um, like we don't know what they're going to do. Like we don't know how far they're going with this, but some like immediate things I would think would be handy would to have like hotkeys for the different tools as well as I quite like the fact that they've got this system of toggling between 
different modes. Oh, there's like a bit of wall missing there. Look, we're gonna have to get we're gonna get the chance to do something with that. Is that trash? Yeah. Don't get rid of that horrible fish, yours. Okay, we've got more in here. Keep the dryer. Okay. I don't know how to interact with these guys. I can't I can't work out. Maybe I'm just being stupid. Oh, selling all the kitchen. Yeah, like so we don't know how far they're gonna go with this. So are they gonna I don't know at what stat I mean I was kinda surprised um to be playing this already because I thought we were quite a long way off this still, but I know there's been some testing been done on it, but I didn't realise we were at a point where people like me was going to get to play it. Just throwing the trash out the door like a bad person. Like a terrible person, just throw them into the sea. Oh, there's a, there's a thing there. So yeah, I'm going to have to try and think about how, like, how can I interact with those things. Paint sticks. Paint sticks to a wall on its own. But you can't say the same for panels, wallpaper or tiles. Lay down some surface glue first. Hold left mouse button to apply glue anywhere you want. Don't want to go over the lines. Set the area of your glue first. So let's just, I don't want to read all the instructions because I'm a lazy man person. So I guess I get this out. And if I look at the wall, so I can go... Oh. Okay, so I can like paint the area that I want to affect. So say I wanted to do like a little bit like that, I could do it. Oh, that's kind of cool. That opens up a whole world of possibilities. So I'm guessing this is me putting the, the like the tile adhesive down. Okay, and then start finishing. Set borders. Set border finishing. Hang on, what? Set up border finishing. Set up finishing borders. Hold left mouse button to start finishing. And then left mouse button set up finishing borders oh oh so i could have just done that i didn't have to do it <laughs> what's that saying start finishing borders all oh, right so i could so i can if i hold it i can move it around by myself and that's giving me everywhere if i click it then it gives me this like dragging option I think I don't I don't I don't entirely understand but I think <laughs> but I think I do a little bit um cancel right so get some get some tiles get some tiles out store um oh look at all this this looks already better. This already looks better, guys. So we've got categories down the... What are these? So these are the room. Oh, these are filters. This is a filter system. Oh, this is already better. So... There needs to be a tooltip on, on each of these, I guess, but... I quite understand what it's doing. So if I... So that is basically saying this is all bathroom related stuff, right? Ah. Okay, so interior, presumably that's going to be garden. Building stuff outside. I'm assuming at this stage as well, there's not a loads of, not all the items are in that could be in. Although actually saying that, that looks pretty good. Right, so where so tiles I, I would assume would be in 
surface finishes color changing tiles paint panels tiles color changing tiles some of these have got placeholders on them i guess probably all of them have got placeholders on them so let's go with bronze tiles metallic wallpaper tiles panels metallic let's go with these have i got any options for this let's show me the size I can favorite so there's a favorite system quite see where that lives in here yet buy and then that just stays in my hand that's cool okay so this feels like the oh I see what I did with the See what I did with the fin with the edge finishing. So there's like an edge there. I think. So I'm having to click this repeatedly. I wonder if that's something that will be something that I can click and drag. I'm also not seeing there's nothing that's doing like a stack of tiles which is good so i don't have to keep going back to the store to buy another tile for that which is definitely improvement how do i get off of this how do i get off of this tool i think i maybe i've got this tool stuck in my hand so that didn't feel right so i had the tool stuck in my the tile stuck in my hand there I didn't have a way of getting rid of it um are you trash are you something I can sell okay so so far like definitely seems like an improvement oh you can close you can clean the windows and I know there's there's options and things in the uh in the settings menu for like changing speeds and things like that on these sorts of tools yeah well so what I was saying I don't know if I finished this point but yeah what I was saying earlier is like you you always wonder when there's a, a sequel comes out that like is it significantly better than the previous one is anything really actually changed okay right I skipped ahead a bit I did all the chores I did all the boring stuff I've done all the cleaning everything's ready to go so and also I noticed that that weird kind of pattern in the grouting that I had on there has disappeared so that wasn't a thing it wasn't a thing I don't know we'll have to figure out how that works a bit more so can I pick up these books I can pick up these books okay cool right so let's move all of these puppies can we put them on the shelf we can put them on the shelf we can rotate them can we rotate them doesn't seem that we can rotate them the other way unless I'm um, no okay so let's just can we put that can we put that up on the shelf yes okay so let's put these up on the shelf just for just for tidiness sake just for because they're kind of in the way otherwise put down good they're quite cool though and i have I have to say i've been getting used to the flipper sense thing actually works really well so like when you're not sure whether you're clearing up whether you're picking up something that's got to be hoovered up or, or cleaned up or put in the trash you just turn on your flipper sense and it tells you and it's all good and everything's dandy so right let's go in the kitchen first because kitchen's like my favorite room to do so what we might do is just get all of this stuff out um oh look at this Oh, this is totally the way that I said they should do it. Oh, that's so cool. This is the way that I said they should do it. <laughs> so rather than like loads of items, we now just have one item with some options for it. Oh, that is so cool. And you can change the handles. Yes, 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 Frozen District. Yes. Amaze balls. Love it. Um, and presumably at some point this will have it does it has color in it as well check it out 
So this was the thing. This was the thing. This was the thing that I was literally saying. This was the reason why I stopped playing House Number One. Because this would have been in the old way of doing things. This would have been like 20 or 30 different bloody items. Um, so, yeah, this is so cool. Massive props to them for improving this. And look at all the different color variations and options. <sighs> wow. Epicness. But I'm not going to spend too long on this because I could. I feel like I could now... Hang on, was there another... What? You can do patterns as well. Oh, my days. Oh, the possibilities are endless. <sighs> Are we going to spend so long? <laughs> spend so long doing this. I'm going to keep it really simple for now. I'm going to go like plain handles. So they're wooden hand. Oh, so like literally the little bit on the handle and everything there. Handle details. Oh, this is so cool. Look at all the options I've got. Yeah, so everything has material and color options. This is like massively better. Oh my god! And that's literally the the material for that for that item. How do I get back to? How do I get back to this? Oh, there we go. Right. So, so we can change the sink as well. What did I just do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. What's the, so what am I... So there's two... Okay, so there isn't two options there. So we'll go... We'll go still, I think. See, some of these look like they've got two options. So the faucet has got... We'll go still with that as well. And then that one seems to have disappeared now. Look, so there was two there before. Maybe just a, maybe just a, uh, a glitch. Cool. Okay, good. So I wonder, I'm going to add that to my favourites and I'm going to buy it. I wonder if it's going to be clever enough. I think this is probably me asking for the moon here, but is it going to be clever enough to remember all the little details that I've done there and apply it to the next one? Um, and my question, my next question is, how do I, so can I edit, I can edit this, can't I? So I can go in here and I can say change style and I can click on it. <gasps> oh, dudes. So you don't have to, you don't have to pick it up again. So, because I realized that I don't actually want that bit sticking out the back there. Oh, dudes, that is so cool. Oh, so I've just realised. So what I can do... Oh, they have done what I... Th right, I'm, I'm getting overexcited. So does, does this mean I can just plop this down? Let's just check this out a second. So I'm just going to plop this down next to this one. Let's get them actually in the right place. Right, and let's carry on doing that. We'll do that with the others. I'm not even going to look at that at the moment. So I think it said I needed two of these. So I'm going to pop those down. God, there's a lot of cabinets here. <laughs> it's a lot of... Seems like there's a lot of cabinets to squeeze in. Uh, maybe it'll be all right. Seems like a lot. Maybe it'll be all right. So let's put this one down as well. So, and then I'm going to show you what I th how I think this is going to work. And if this is working how I think it's going to, then this is utter genius. And they have definitely made it massively easier. So, I need the oven. Uh, and these are all hanging units, aren't they? So let's just pop these down as well. I'm not too worried about the placement at the minute. I just want to get them all in because I think it's all going to work in amazing, amazingness. 
I wonder how long they've been working on this because this feels like if you've been working on House Hipper 1 uh, and seeing everyone asking for changes that this is oh that's in the wrong room all of a sudden they must have been like thinking to themselves oh yeah exactly what this is exactly what we're doing we're already doing this we're doing this in House Hipper 2 where's this going to go okay there I guess maybe over here I don't know I'm not quite sure where that's supposed to go let's put that there for a second maybe this is supposed to go no surely that's a wall unit I don't know maybe like that I mean right so then I think what I can now do is I can go and get this one and I can say I want to copy the style of this puppy and then I want to change style hang on no is that not it <laughs> can I not do what I thought so copy style how do you then paste it oh paste style paste style hang on wait I, it did let it did give me the option there so can't so cancel cancel that a second so copy the style with left mouse button paste the style with left mouse button oh it works how cool is this how much easier is that and then you can just like do little tweaks like go in change style edit so I actually want the handles on that one to go the other way handles be the door style I think I just did it oh dudes this is so much better how clever is that I realize I haven't done the tiling behind there but um <laughs> oh this is where the fridge is supposed to go i see this is where the fridge is supposed to go okay so let's move that one over there potentially let's move that out of the way for a second this is always the thing like whenever they do these scenarios they're always like way too much stuff i think this, the thing is unless you arrange it in exactly the way that they have thought about arranging it it's kind of difficult to get exactly the, get exactly the sort of same style so i'm gonna steal i'm just gonna buy that so we've still got we've obviously still got um here look we've still got grid but so we've got grid option if i press my q key I'm getting that much finer control, but it's actually still showing me the grid, which is super clever. So let's move that now into place. Handsies. Handsies. Let's just put that on the floor a sec. Does that go in there now? Yeah, cool. So that other little cupboard was presumably supposed to go on top of there still feel like I've got too many too many units I'm not quite sure where that one's supposed to go that feels too big too many to me yeah so like someone's obviously got in their head what this is supposed to look like look at look at the fact that i just able to, to to move that into exactly what it's supposed to be um yeah i'm so excited by this already so let's do that one more time so copy style so left click copy style paste too cool um right so let's do the so that's actually all it's saying to do in here. I can do, I think I will probably do that tile, tile in over there though. 
So can I copy? I wonder if I could copy this. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So set up finishing borders. So I can just drag that and then right click to start finishing. No. So drag. Hold to start finishing. So why is it not? Oh, I see. It did tell me that in the instructions. So what? So what it's told me to do is I have drawn the border. Okay, that makes sense. So it can't. I so I can't now paste outside of that area. How do I now? Cancel now finishing borders. Okay, so I don't need that anymore. Right, 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 right. So, um, so can I, I kind of wanted to see, can I copy style? I can't copy that, I don't think. Can I duplicate that? So I can't duplicate the tiles. Okay, so let's go to store. And we'll go back and find the tiles, which were um, back surface finishes. So it's so it is actually remembering, I think, where I was before tiles. And what were they? These, I think. Yeah, I don't I don't actually mind the fact that I have to click this multiple times because I'm not going back into the animation. So it's definitely quicker. Um Oh, it's saying 160. I don't need 100. I don't need to tell the rest of it. I can just tell that bit. So in theory actually, we could if we wanted to. Can we make the I wonder if we can make that like a metal splashback as well. Paint, ceramic tiles, color changing tiles. I don't quite understand what that means. Terracotta, let's have a look at this. I quite understand what the these tiles do. I don't seem to be able to click that. So, I'm not quite sure how this is working. So building, surface finishes, other, brick. Colour changing to surface finishes. Oh, that's all. Okay, so that's the all option. Sandblasted steel tiles. Yeah, let's go with that. So I just want... How do you replace a tile then? Huh. Hammer? Maybe I need to, to prepare the surface again. I do. Okay, cool. So I can do that. And then get that. It already feels so much more intuitive because it's sort of remembering as if you noticed that, but it's sort of remembered where I was there. Oh, F1. Okay, cool. Um, that's the only bit I've found so far is coming out of something like that. I have to go in into the menu in order to do it. So that doesn't look too bad. So what else have we got to buy in here? So quests. So we've got to get a toaster. So we'll go with that and then we'll go maybe just a colour. Let's go green. Yeah, so I can, this is the sort of, exactly the sort of thing that you don't want to have to use the grid for, right? You want to be able to free place this. So that's fine. Uh, and we'll go 
So I want to test this actually as well. So let me put this down. Buy this. Let's just double check. So can we do... Can we do the copy style function on this and paste it on this? Oh, we can. Too cool. Microwave. I think we'll just keep the microwave plain. Uh, that looks like it's got to be a little bit more space around it so we can go there. drying rack so we'll keep this one simple so we'll just go maybe back to that like that I assume that's quite large but that's okay so is that do I not have to fill, fix the wall Right, the blocks has got to be... So I think we'll just do this for the last bit of the episode because I'm conscious we've taken ages already to get to where we are. I don't know how to get this this extra cupboard in here. But right, just ignore that. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to very quickly look at the block building and then I think we'll call that the end of this episode. So this is how you do creating blocks. Stick that in there. And then, oh, and that's it. That's it. That's easy enough. So you click what you want to do. You can kind of draw the shape. Click it again. Oh, this is this is fine. So I was worried this was going to be a bit like building simulator. And it was going to have, you have to do all the like pointing and all that sort of stuff. This is really nice and simple. Right, so that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to continue this, so there'll be another few episodes coming out. Um, I have actually also, since I started recording, learned that this is coming out. This demo is going to be available from the 19th to the 26th, I think, which is part of the, the Steam Fest next week. Um, and then I'm assuming they'll take it away again. So, yeah, do check it out. Look at it on Steam. Uh, don't forget to add it to your wish list and all that sort of stuff because that helps them out to to know who's interested in all that sort of thing thank you very much for watching my name is toves and i'll catch you on the next one take it easy